many line guard partners are using a documentation platform like IT Glue, which is a great place to store user generated content. The type of elements that a human has to capture like client notes, network diagrams, pictures, and checklists. Roar has the ability to automatically update system configuration details inside of IT Glue so that your techs don't have to do that. So initially, when you make an integration uh, with Roar to IT Glue, you'll create an API key. So you'd certainly want to make sure you have the enterprise plan that includes IT Glue's API. You can map to existing organizations inside of IT Glue or even sync those organizations into Roar as an environment. Then what Roar is doing is it's creating flexible assets for the data to land in. So for instance, when we do an Active Directory inspection, we can drop all those rich details right inside of a flexible asset that's automatically created by LineGuard and then perpetually updated. Now the neat thing is, is that we give you what we call IT Glue documentation control. So you have the ability now to include exclude or just put a link to Roar. So you've got full control over how much or how little of the data lands inside of IT Glue. So let's take a look at what that looks like in a couple of our of our assets. So for one, Office 365 lands as our cloud productivity asset. It works the same with G Suite. And so in there, you can have rich details about all of your Office 365 tenants, including licensing details, um, how many are active versus assigned, all your licensing um, uh, by user, um, how, uh, you know, Microsoft secure score information. There's just a plethora of information that Roar is injecting in here. And our timeline is right on the right hand side. So every time Roar does an inspection, it's going to, uh, put a date and timestamp. It's going to put those new details right inside of, uh, IT glue. So you can rewind back in time, but we've recently enhanced those assets to include user generated content or notes in the asset. So if you want to put individual notes about a system or uh, about that, that customer system specifically, you can edit that on the IT Glue side. So you can put in those notes and anything that you put in this notes section is going to perpetually stay there until you update it again. Roar is never going to erase that information. And so uh, all of the information below it, those system configuration details are going to be automatically kept up. So think about that. That's gonna uh, save your team an enormous amount of time. If they only had to focus on that user-generated content piece and let Roar automatically update those system configuration details, that's a great way to uh, get your documentation in order. Now, we do have the related item uh, feature. So if you've got any existing assets that you wanna relate Roar's asset to inside of IT Glue, you have that ability. Um, if you want, are you using the tagging feature? That is also, um, an available um, uh, option in there. So think about this. If your users are going into the Active Directory core asset inside of IT Glue and filling out these top level fields, this is great, but it's very top level, right? It doesn't have your users, groups, group policy details, domain account policies, computers list, group policies. None of that stuff will get inside of IT Glue unless you guys physically type it in there. But when Roar does an inspection of Active Directory, all that rich information lands right inside of here in a flexible asset that's automatically created and perpetually kept up to date. So uh, thanks for watching. All of the systems um, are right here. Um, these are the ones at the time of this recording that we push into IT Glue today. You can see a full list of these on our website as well under lineguard.com slash integrations. Thanks for watching and check out some of our other videos or reach out to our sales team today to learn more directly in a one-to-one -one meeting.